Hello, friend. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I'm Sunday Oyewale, and in this me, I want to unbox my typical double footed straight bed sewing machine. That's what I'm going to be unboxing in this room. So, you want to see how I'm going to be unboxing all what, what comes with a leather sewing machine, a typical the double footed leather sewing machine. You want to see all what comes with, with it, how to set it, how to arrange it, and get it ready for stitching. Then, this swimming is for you. So, Elias. I had a double footed machine and I got it delivered. Some days back, I got it delivered and I have this. Now, the time I have this, I think, I think it's going to be wise where I'm going to show you how I'm going to be unboxing this and you will be able to see all what is in this double footed typical sewing machine. Yes, this machine is good for your leather, it's good for a very thick material, then this machine is going to do justice to that. So, right in there at the time I heard that this product it comes in with packs and three forms, it comes in packs. Uh, straight like this, oh, this is what a big thing in here. It comes big like this, and it also comes in like this. And the other part of this is just this. This is what comes out with this. So, this is all what we're gonna be using to stitch. This is what all I've been using to stitch. I, I have this stitching machine in my main workshop. I have uh, a post bed, I have a cylinder bed. I have a single straight bed, I have a double footed straight bed, I have a round footed straight bed machine too. I have all that in my main workshop, but in here I just have to set up a mini workshop in my apartment, Lagos, Nigeria. That's why I had to order this particular stitching machine for just for my studio in here. So, come with me right now to see how I'm going to be unboxing. Okay, I have this. I'm coming right now. Then I have this. I'm gonna come over here. And the desk in here. I pull it down this way. Up, up, and then down. Get this, this is out. You can see right now. This is down like that. Okay. I drop this back in this way to open it for the first time, and then eventually I open it up and I have this. Okay. This is what I get to see in here at the first time. That time I open it and I have this in it. Okay. Let me get. I turn this is out. I come. Back in here, this is one of what I pick out of this, and then come in here. The time I've opened this, what the I'm gonna be having in here? Let's see what I have in here. Okay, in here is this is our stain. Okay, this is a stand, a tray stand. I have this as a tray stand, which is gonna hold on my straight. Okay, here is the tank. Which is going to pick all the. I told you earlier that I got this as an extra to it. This is the oil. So this is the kind that's going to house all the oil. Okay. So this is uh, this is the lifter, which is going to lift the presser. It's going to lift it up. These are the other things also I'm going to be using for the table. Yes, and then this is the wheel. This is for the. This is a really what I'm going to be using to roll my thread off in it. This is it. So this comes from this. And why this is the belt. I'm going to be using this belt for to connect this and the motor together for it to move and power it 
Wow. So right now, this is all what we have in the second. Open it up right now. So yeah, this comes like this. Definitely, this is meant to house the table and it's consistent. I was gonna house. Open this up right now. That is off. Wow. Okay. This is what I got in here. I got this. This is the tabletop. Yes. So right in here, I'm gonna have this. Take this out of this tabletop. Very nice one. Okay. What a nice tabletop.
able to arrange it, get this leg set up, the ruler set up, the angle of the thread angle set up. Every part of this machine has been set up right now. So right now I've been able to set this up. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you so much for watching this. So I've just added this to my studio. This is going to be so right now I've been able to oil the, the machine. I've put a new set of oil in that the oil is going to go around and going to lubricate all the necessary and which it needs to be lubricated. So right now I'm done with it. I can then feather it after I've plugged the power. Feather this so this is working very 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 fine. You can see I've been able to arrange this from the beginning. Just this unboxing. So thank you so much for watching the unboxing of my machine. If you've learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share to your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to be notified on the subscribe upload of this thread. I'm still going to be uploading the how I'm going to be the functionality of this. I'm going to be passing the thread, stitching it. I'm going to be stitching on the machine. The thickness at which this can be stitched. I'm still going to be working on it in there. So I've just been able to add this to my personal studio in there. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Click the description bell, don't forget that, and I look forward to see you in my next stream. I'm Sunday Yoli from Optosis Kiloshi Making, where we take non-techie how to improve their craft.